Hey, this is Blake with Peaceful Heritage Nursery. Wanted to show you all a little tour of some of our fig plantings here at Peaceful Heritage. You can see I'm wearing a thick jacket and a sweater. It's almost November out here. It's pretty chilly, but we still have some cold hardy fig action going on. So let's check it out. So this is Chicago Hardy. And overall, Chicago Hardy is the best performer of all in the cold hardy fig department. I've talked with people from all over the country, including even all the way down south to South Mississippi and the Gulf Coast area. They say Chicago Hardy does great for them too. North Carolina, Indiana, Tennessee, Georgia, it does great everywhere. It does need a little bit of winter cold. It's gonna lose its leaves pretty soon, but it still has some nice fruit on it. And the fruits are just really high quality on Chicago Hardy. They don't get huge. They usually turn purple. Sometimes they stay kind of brownish like this one here. Purple. But the trees are really productive. This is a small, small tree right here. It's been in the ground for two seasons. And I mean, it's almost November here and it's still loaded up with fruit, as you can see. Chicago Hardy is just loaded up. It's one of the nice things about this fig is it will ripen fruit on growth that just comes out of the ground this year. So, so if this fig were to die back to the ground completely and only the roots survived, it would send up shoots this spring that would come up, they'd get anywhere from about three to six feet tall, and they'd have figs on them like this. Just as nice as that. Most figs won't do that. They have to fruit on one year or older growth. Chicago Hardy's not like that. You can see it's just loaded up. Chicago Hardy. So over here we've got one of my new favorite figs. Look at these beauties here. And these are big figs. For a cold hardy fig, these are sizable. Check out the size on these. Look at these. That is a nice fig. Look how big those are. You can see they're quite a bit bigger than the Chicago Hardys. This is Olympian. This has definitely become one of my top favorite figs. It is very prolific. Look how many figs it's got here. Every single node is loaded up with figs. These will ripen up nicely. These last few maybe. Depends on how the temperatures go. We've had one frost here. Not only are the figs nice and big, but they're delicious. Got this really nice red pulp inside, really meaty, sweet, flavorful. They got a nice firm skin that doesn't tear open easily, but it is just melts in your mouth when you eat it. They're top quality. Big, nice, meaty figs. Very cold hardy too. Has performed decently outside in Kentucky Zone 6. And that this one would do really, really well further down south. Maybe even as far down as the Gulf again. You can see it, that one's a beauty. It's loaded up. This one here is O'Rourke. This one comes out of the Louisiana State University. It's a nice fig, it's a seedling of, of Celeste. Makes a nice purplish fig. There's a bunch that are still green. This one's not really acclimated to Kentucky Zone 6. It would do nice, uh, nicely further down south. This is LSU O'Rourke. It's a nice, nice fig. Productive, fairly cold hardy. Here's another one out of LSU. This is LSU Gold. And it's a, it's a nice one too, very productive. Makes this interesting kind of squat shape to the fig. Kind of a golden yellow green color, very productive. They get pretty big too. You can see here's a nice one here. Nice size to it. Inside is a nice amber color. Here's another one from LSU. This is LSU Improved Celeste. Figs get nice and sizable on this one. Very productive. One thing I really like about this fig is the figs are big, they're firm, and they've got excellent flavor. They've got a really outstandingly good flavor on this one. LSU Improved Celeste. Fast grower, very vigorous. 
has the potential to produce a lot of figs. It's a nice one. And here's a favorite of many. This is Violet D. Bordeaux. You can see it makes a beautiful, beautiful fig. Look how nice the, uh, the coloration is on that. So this is Violet D. Bordeaux. Very, very highly flavored fig. Has a beautiful appearance. This one does well in the Deep South too. It's not really that acclimated to Kentucky, but does pretty well in the high tunnel here. This is one that's not fruiting yet. You see it's got really beautiful foliage. This is Rondé de Bordeaux. It's trying to put out a few little figs, but we just planted it this year, so they're not gonna ripen up. But this one is a very high quality fig as well. Very similar to Violet de Bordeaux. Has similar leaves too. You can see the Violet de Bordeaux has this interesting leaf shape. This one's very similar. This is another one we just started offering in the nursery. This is Floria. This one just got planted this year too. And so the little figs aren't gonna ripen up. These are our supreme grade field grown figs here. These are certified organic, just like all of our figs. You can see this is a Chicago Hardy. This one's already got fruit on it. This one over here does too. And we hand dig these out and you can see the size is huge. So we hand dig these out and then we'll ship them right to your door. This is English brown turkey. This fig has really nice flavor, very cold hardy, very heavy production. This is also an excellent cold hardy fig. This is a Mount Etna type fig. This is Italian Letizia, very similar to Chicago hardy, but the fruits are a little bit different, a little bit different flavor, but it's also very cold hardy, very excellent fig. Pick one of these off here. You can see it's a rich, rich red color inside. Excellent flavor. It's got that nice berry, kind of strawberry, Chicago Hardy flavor. A little bit different than Chicago Hardy though. This is an excellent cold hardy fig, Italian Letizia. Okay, this is one of the best cold hardy figs that we've grown. This is Magnolia. And look at these whoppers here. These figs get big. People have been amazed at how big of a fig this gets. It's got a mild, sweet flavor, nice and juicy. Sometimes they get these spots on them, but that doesn't hurt the edibility of them whatsoever. It's very productive. You can see it's just loaded up. Got figs at every node all the way up here. And this one handles cold winters well with protection. We've got this growing outside in zone six. It does get some winter protection though. You can see it's almost November and this one's just loaded up out here. Look at that, all the way up. So this is Magnolia, nice old heirloom variety from the south.